Welcome back. This is another part of creating a 2D platforming game using LibGDX. What we're going to do today is we're going to do something completely different. And we are not going to be adding to it, but we're going to be modifying to the program. And right now, if we look at our code or our program and run it, oops, that was the game creator. I didn't mean to do that. Let's run this one. Okay, and we actually make the game, we have actually a pretty close up view of our character. Our character takes up a lot of space. So what can we do to fix that? How can we get our, how can we zoom out on this particular game? And maybe we can make it um, a little bit more detailed. It's a good uh, suggestion of trying to get that to work. So we're going to go into our game and we are just going to change around the camera a little bit. So we're going to go to Cool Guy Game. And right here in the create, we actually have this uh, um, the camera. Right now we have it by 800 by 200 and uh, uh, 200 or 480. I can't read today. So what we can do is we can actually change this or or make it go twice as big um, by changing this to 1600. And we are going to uh, try to keep the same aspect ratio. So instead of 480, we are going to 6, carry the 1, 90. So I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to run this now. And OK, so that's the start button smaller. And now my character's smaller. And this is actually a little bit, this is a lot better of a size. Um, my character still walks a little slow compared to this area, so we might want to speed him up a little bit. But, uh, um, but this gives us a little bit better of a view of the game. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it a little bit smaller um, just so because uh, I don't want it that big. So I am going to make this to go to 1200 and I actually don't know what the ha okay I think it's not I don't remember. So we will just Google that. So we're just going to go over here and we're going to go to 480 uh, times one and a half. That's 720. So we're going to do 720. Hit save. And see how that looks. Okay, that's a little bit better for the start. And I actually like this size a little bit better. So, and we can still wander around the screen and jump and so on. So the only thing that's changed is these uh, uh, buttons now are kind of in the center of the screen, not where we not where we want it and so the way we're gonna fix this is we are going to have to recalibrate them so we can come down to our main game state and keep on scrolling down so our load menu will be changing that next time and then Where is it? I'm sorry. Okay, main game. Here we go. And we are going to be changing the way we draw our buttons. I'm trying to find where we draw our buttons. Here we go. So we have sp sprite left and right and so on. So we're going to copy that and we're going to find where else we have this. Okay, this is where we start them. All right. So what ends up happening here is since we zoomed out so far, the uh, um, the game wants us to need to we need to move these. So the way we're going to do this, actually, I don't think this is the correct way of doing it. I don't I don't think it needs to be here. I think it's where we move the actual buttons. Here we go. So right now we take the characters X and subtract it by that much. Since we added um, an additional uh, 400 to each side, I'm going to safely assume if we add an extra 200 to these each of these um, values, I think we'll move them further out and in. So let's double check. Run this. Okay. So we move 
the the plus one way out. The uh, um, this one needs to move back in a little bit though. So we're gonna go back there, and it's probably this one. I probably didn't change it right. Yeah, it was a four. It needed to be a two, and that one needs a five again. So let's run that again, and we should have them now towards the edge. Perfect. So. Why didn't I change them to make them go down? Well, I'm going to make the entire board go down. Um, I could fill up the rest of the blocks, but I kind of want to have as much game space as I can. So I'm going to try to move the camera down. So when we have the update camera, this only moves the X coordinate. And that's okay. But I want to find where the camera position Y is. So we're going to go find camera. And those are the updates. Okay, so right here it says the camera should be here and here. So let's try to change this up a little bit. So we added an additional um, 240 to this. So half of that is 220. So we add that, that should be 360. So let's try this out. So 360. And now our stuff's at the bottom. That's perfect. Now, did these transfer over? They did, which is perfect. The only last thing that we have next is the uh, um, the deaths menu bar. So we can add a lot more up here at the top. Um, I'm also going to be putting an ad in here where the game is going to be um, at the, in the top center. So. Um, I don't want to block too much off of the top, but that's going to be where my ad's going to be uh, when you're playing the game. So let's close this. And the last thing is, is the deaths or the text. And I'm not quite sure where that would go. So let's, uh, um, let's take a look at doing this and let's start menu draw. Main menu. We're looking actually for main game. Okay, here's the main game. So we draw all the background. We'll draw, draw all the objects, sprite. Here's the font and the deaths. So we have the font position. So we need to be able to change that. So we go, we find this. And right now that's not the case and we needed to add 200 of it just like we did before. That should move it to the left completely. Okay, it did. Now we just need to move it up. And this one is pretty easy because... Let's find it again. Okay. And the way we're going to do this one is we are going to add an additional 120 to it. So that would be 570. Make sure that there's no other font.draws in here too. That's the last one. Easy. So we come over here, hit start, and we didn't move it up enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to try moving up another 120 and see what happens. So this would be 6, nope, 7, 10. Run it. Start, and it's up really close up to the top, but it's much better than it was before. So I might be, I might move it down just a little bit, but there you go. This is how to kind of zoom out so we get a little bit more with our uh, game. The next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get the tile, uh, we're going to use the program tiled and actually use that as our map editor because right now I'm um, using these custom made uh, text editors. Um, I'm not going to be giving it to you, so I'm going to show you a way so you can use something that's pre-built um, to kind of design your level to make it a little bit easier to deal with. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.